What's good, y'all? So, I am back with just a general reading, okay? Of course, everything that I do is pre-recorded, okay? So, let's just get that out the way. But let's just um see what's going on, okay? Let's just see what's going on with the collective, all right? Spirit, please come to me. What is the energy surrounding my collective? This present time. Okay, so good fortune is coming in, okay? So if you've been down bad, down on your ass, okay, took some L's or whatever, or had some misfortune, whether that's past, present, or future energy, it's about to be your time to shine. So please come through. What is the energy surrounding my collective? All right. Energy from surrounding my collective. Okay, we got the King of Swords. Okay, let's see what else we get. Spirit, please come through. What is the energy surrounding my collective? Alright, Spirit, come through. What is the energy surrounding my collective? surrounding my collection. You need to go outside and say, all right, so we got, hold on, I'm going to show y'all in a second, one minute. Go ahead, bro. All right, so we got Miss Fortune. If you've been interested or looking into settling down, okay, um, that's also uh, a good fucking thing. So if you've been interested in settling down, finding love, looking for stability, um, trying to build like a foundation, a family, looking into relocating or um, bringing kids into this world, be expecting that to come on the way right along with this good fortune, okay? It's the energy I'm picking up on. That's exactly what I'm getting. So if you was with somebody who was playing fucking games, looking at this King of Swords, you're going to be dealing with somebody who about they shit, who on their P's and Q's or whatever the case may be, okay? It's the energy I'm picking up on. And um, like I said, you're probably dealing with somebody, um, maybe someone who's mature, okay? Um, someone who is God-fearing and things of that nature, okay? So that's what the fuck I'm getting. King of Swords energy. Something good should be coming in for you. So expect. I'm getting energy of expect the unexpected, okay? It's the energy I'm picking up on, right? I'm also getting um to make the best decision, decision to move forward or whatever the case may be. Whether it's dealing with love, finances, work, or whatever the case is. I'm getting, um, you need to look at things from a rational perspective. Like, instead of thinking with your matters of the heart, think with your your head is the energy that I'm picking up on. To make whatever plan that you are trying to, um, whatever plan that you're trying to create or manifest, you most definitely need to look at things at a rational perspective. And if it if it doesn't fit your situation, it's time to like talk to someone, like some type of counselor or therapist or some something of that sort. And another thing, if you're feeling stagnant, okay, lost, confused, um, don't know which way to go. Instead of consoling in your family members or people you love, try dealing with someone who doesn't know you specifically in your uh situation at hand. So that way if it, you can get the best best knowledge from um, this counselor, this therapist. That way you can take that and take what you have to move forward. So if you in fear of the unknown, Spirit is urging you to take that leap of faith. Okay, put that faith in the Most High God, your faith and your hope and things of that nature. And this new beginning will start. Okay, change your mindset is the energy I'm picking up on. We got new beginning. And we also got possibly some kids, okay? We have uh, Six of Cups, 
okay, is the energy that I'm picking up on. So someone who is going to over overfill your club, cups with love is the energy I'm picking up on. Okay, so I'm I'm getting the energy of a soulmate is the is what I'm getting. All right, so I'm getting the energy of whatever you prayed on is going to come to fruition. That's exactly what I'm getting. Okay, and like I said, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, create, build. Okay, um. You need to most definitely try to talk to to an outside source, someone who don't know who the fuck you are, like I was saying. Okay, to gain some clarity on what it is that you want. Figure out who you are and what you came here to do. Okay, if you want that family, go ahead and go after that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Don't let nothing or no one stop you. Also, looking at this cup's energy, I'm getting the energy of maybe you could, we got happiness. Okay, take that leap of faith. You feel what I'm saying? The reason why you're not moving forward is because of other people's opinions. Don't let what other people say stop you from what it is that you're trying to create. Okay. The judgment of others keep you stagnant. That's what I'm getting. All right. You're only going to be happy when you make, you're only going to have wish fulfillment and true happiness and peace when you make decisions that fulfill you and not decisions uh, based off of what other people feel. Okay, now it's time to give you that love. It's time to uh, pour all that love into you, okay? And then once you do that, you're not going to do nothing but attract love. You'll be able to give and receive love, okay? Reciprocation is the energy that I'm picking up on for this new beginning, right? Not just saying the food. Spirit, please come through. Maybe it's something that you need to let go of, okay, to manifest this new beginning. You feel what I'm saying? That's exactly what I'm getting. Two cards fell on the floor. Okay, page of cups. Maybe someone is going to offer you something. It's the energy I'm also picking up on. Someone could possibly be offering you something. I get the energy of, like I said, that could be someone attached to from your past. It could be a soulmate, twin flame, whomever. But someone is going to come in and offer you this new beginning. Is what I'm getting. And I'm getting the energy of someone who don't take no shit. Nobody shit. Okay? That's exactly what I'm getting. Like a motherfucker cut you off in the blink of a motherfucking eye. Seven of Pentacles. Okay? So I'm getting the energy of you've been putting in a lot of work. you possibly been working on yourself. Um, you're healing yourself. Going through your past childhood traumas. Um... Getting over being a people pleaser and just things of that nature. You're finding wish fulfillment and happiness within yourself. And all the hard work that you've been putting in yourself, that is about to come to you um, 11 fold. Okay? It's the energy I'm picking up on. Since you're a giver, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You feel what I'm saying? Now you're going to run into someone who's going to be able to reciprocate, is what I'm getting at. Okay? That's a fucking good thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, you're just looking for someone who can um, love you for you. Someone who's not going to change you. Okay, mold you into something that they want you to be. Okay, you don't want someone who's going to judge you. You want someone who's going to take you and accept you and your flaws. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up on. Someone who won't give, on you, give up on you when times are hard is what I'm getting. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what the fuck I'm getting. Um, I'm also getting like whoever you run across, they're not going to bite their tongue, beat around the bush. They're going to tell you exactly how they feel. So if you've been dealing with someone who hoards their feelings, okay, holds everything in, does not um, express how they really feel about you, you about to run into whoever... Um, this person is, whether that be male or female, is the energy I'm picking up on, y'all. So, this is a good thing. Nothing but good is coming in, is what I'm seeing, y'all. 
nothing but good is coming in. You probably been through some bad breakups, some bad relationships, rejection, pain, regret, things of that nature. Dealing with someone who possibly don't really love you like they say they do. Okay, so some shit is about to play, uh, about to change. Okay. I'm also getting the energy of if you're single. You could be in a relationship and I'm talking to you and you still with that person that you was only supposed to learn a lesson from. Okay, so single or not single. Let's just say you are single. Just because you're a single person does not mean you have to ha handle everything on your own. Okay. I'm also getting the energy of accept assistance or help when someone is trying to assist you. you don't let your pride and your e ego get in the way. That could be stopping you or blocking you from your blessings or blocking you from allowing true love to come into your life. Okay. I'm also getting the energy of if you've been dealing with or if this could just be you who is one that sees something wrong or red flags and you quick to cut a motherfucker off. See that sword? If you're in that type of energy, it's about time to change that up in the way you think and see see things, okay? Um, swallow your pride. I'm also getting, um, like I said, don't cut off people quick because you need, everybody needs someone is the energy I'm picking up on. So what I'm getting is regardless of a person is flawed, if it's not too much that you can't, you can't handle, don't. What I'm getting is don't break up a good thing. Don't break up a happy home. Okay. No one is perfect. Maybe you're looking for that perfect someone. And it's not coming in or manifesting the way you need be. It's because some things that you need to work on internally. It's the energy I'm picking up on. Okay. So let me just give you an example. Um, if a person don't call you back consistently, okay, or not expressing their emotions or their feelings like they should be or open enough to you. That shouldn't be a reason to cut somebody off. Give them a chance. It's the energy I'm picking up on. How can you know someone after a few months or you just give it a year and you 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 give up? I'm getting the energy of don't give up on me when things are, when we down bad. Okay, but when shit is up, it's up. But when shit it's uncomfortable for you. You run. It's the energy I'm picking up on. So you most definitely need to work on your internal. Okay. Is what the fuck I'm getting, right? I'm also getting, you could have been dealing with someone who's immature and naive. Naive, okay? Um, Still childish as fuck. I'm also getting maybe the person that you was dealing with, um, like, couldn't meet your needs emotionally. I'm also getting the energy of you've been doing that motherfucking work. Okay. So since you've been doing that motherfucking work. Guess what's going to come in for you. You deserve someone who's going to match that energy that you have. You're equal. You're, you're soulmate. Okay. You're divine partner. That's exactly what I'm getting. So I'm also getting, do not settle for someone who has not put in the work as well, okay, when it comes to working on their self. That's exactly what I'm getting. All right, maybe someone or you have some communication issues or whatever the case may be. You need to work on yourself or your, your person needs to work on their self. Or you need to work on yourself to be ready to, for their door to open up for somebody to come in for you. That's exactly what I'm getting. And I'm also getting the energy of like being consistent in a relationship. Maybe things couldn't didn't work out or isn't working out, whether that's past, present, or future. Okay. Maybe you rush into shit real quick. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. Maybe you don't give yourself this time to heal. Maybe you want those energies to jump from one person to the next. I don't know. Only you know. Okay. So let's see. We got the emperor that full, fell on the, uh, on the ground. All right. So we got the emperor upright. The emperor is upright. Okay. 
Maybe you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. That's exactly what I'm getting. Let's see what else we get. I'm getting the energy of you on someone who's very mature. Okay. Um, very fucking mature. Looking at this Emperor card. You feel me? Someone who on their shit. Okay. Um, ain't playing no fucking mind games. Not wishy-washy. You feel what I'm saying? Unbalanced. You don't want that. You want someone who's balanced, who's love, loving, who's patient, who's kind, and things of that nature. Basically, I'm getting you're not trying to deal with no little ass boy. Okay, straight like that. I'm getting um, you want someone who wants to take a leadership role. Maybe you want a family. All right, someone who who has structure and things of that nature. I'm also getting you you believe that um regardless of what the situation or circumstances is, you know, when it comes to love, you want somebody who's gonna put in all the extra work that you're putting in. So you're trying to attract your emperor right now. You might be the empress and your emperor is coming on the way. Or you could be the emperor and your empress is coming on the way. Either or. So maybe somebody needs some structure in their life. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. Maybe you need to like go out and just give yourself more self-love. Like work out, meditate, jog, listen to some music, clean up or something. Just clear your space, okay? Maybe things are cluttered or you got a lot on your plate or you're overwhelmed. Maybe you're come, become, overcoming a heartbreak or a bad divorce or some shit. And you're just trying to get back to your normal self. You're trying to find your strength, your willpower. I'm getting the energy of you trying to put yourself back out there. Like you're ready. Like you've waited long enough. It's the energy I'm picking up on. Now your blessings is about to come in, okay? Because of your patience and your obedience and things of that na nature. Your faithfulness and shit like that. I get the energy of you want someone who has like a clear fucking vision on what what it is that they really want in a serious relationship when it comes to a commitment or marriage. Maybe you could be wifey material, husband material, and you're looking for your emperor or your empress. I'm also getting the energy of this person who's about you're about to attract or manifest is very sure of themselves. And they know the vision or the life that they want, okay? And they're going after it. I'm getting, I'm hearing this person could be, or this energy can be a go-getter. Wanna go back outside? Yeah, you could have dealt with someone who was sneaky in the past. Okay, um... Try to get away with something up under your nose. Maybe something that was hidden came to light and you just let that person go. You could have been with this person for a minute. Okay, maybe y'all got some history is the energy I'm picking up on. Remember I was saying bad divorce or breakup, heartbreak, betrayal, secrets and lies and envy. You could have been dealing with someone who was not your equal. Okay, maybe someone who was just sentencing you to teach you a lesson or... Show you something that you can see in yourself. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. Okay. So whoever you were dealing with was not your soulmate because they wouldn't have caused you heartache and pain. All right. It's the energy I'm picking up on, y'all. We got the devil. Okay. So um, maybe the fact that you was codependent on this certain person or energy was the reason why you couldn't manifest real love. Because you was codependent on this person who has some addictions and some demons that they fighting or battling, okay? You could have been dealing with someone who was dealing... You could have been dealing with someone who um, was into the same sex, had some addictions to sex, um, addictions to drugs, Addiction to being controlling and manipulative, okay? It's also the energy I'm picking up on. Maybe someone who's very dark and sinister. Um, someone who's not, you was attached to someone who is not on the same page as you. All right, they're not looking, they were not looking for true love. They was looking for a good time. Okay, so maybe they were sitting there riding the wheels till they fell off. It's the energy I'm picking up on. 
You could have been dealing with somebody who was unhealed as well. Um, I'm also getting the energy of now you you probably possibly thinking like, what is keeping me tied or chained down to this energy? Why am I still here with this energy? This energy is doing all types of shit, okay? This energy can be very angry, um, aggressive. There could be a lot of chaos and conflict and confusion, a lot of um, arguments or fussing and fighting is the energy I'm also picking up on as well. Okay. So whoever this person is, is dark. Someone needs to do some soul searching. We got it in reverse. Maybe you were, maybe you were going within, doing some soul searching, okay? And the other energy wasn't. Okay, I'm getting the energy of... Maybe you're dealing with somebody who you're spiritual and your person isn't. Okay? Your person isn't doing the work. So now since you're healed, you're starting to realize I can't be with this low vibrational entity anymore. It's time to move forward, okay? And find true love, a real commitment, okay? Is the energy I'm picking up on. So if you're experiencing some type of heartache, some type of pain, whether that's due to a man cheating, fucking with you mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and sexually, or something could have happened maybe you have kids with this person you could have stayed that could have been a reason why but now you're starting to realize happiness is within you you're not at peace your soul is disturbed okay most definitely fucking disturbed yeah we got queen of swords energy in reverse we got king of swords are right and queen of swords in reverse so i'm getting the energy of you and this person dealing with this king of swords and this king of swords that y'all had um there's a lot of back and forth between the two. Maybe there could have been an altercation. Maybe this person could have laid hands on a motherfucker. But I'm getting the energy of now you're feeling like powerless or you're not basically um speaking up or standing up for yourself when it comes to your emotion. You've been hoarding how you feel. You've been holding on tight to your emotions. Okay? And that's causing more friction between you and the person that you're in a serious relationship with or was in a serious relationship with. That's exactly what I'm getting. Like you're not standing up for yourself and it's like now you're starting to realize that in reverse, you was a damn fool for sitting here staying with this energy knowing damn well they're not giving you what you need, okay? That's exactly what I'm getting. You took this journey, okay? You thought um, shit would be good and things of that nature. That's exactly what the fuck I'm getting. So now you're feeling like the fool. Or this could be the person that you was dealing with. They're a fucking fool for putting you through the shit that they put you through. Okay, you never know when you're entertaining an angel. All right. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm getting. We got death. I didn't seen that whole twice. Transformation. So, something definitely ended and you want something better. Maybe you're manifesting. Like, you wrote some shit down and now you're turning all that shit into reality. Okay, it's the energy I'm picking up on. I'm picking up on you a whole new different person. You're not even attracted to this energy no more. Because you're vibrating so high. Okay. And you've been doing so much work on your external and internal. It's like damn. I don't even have the time or energy no more to even deal with someone like this. Okay. Yeah. Moving forward. Leaving some shit behind. Alright. Maybe you spiritually enlightened by some shit. Maybe you're going to relocate. Okay, and travel somewhere else. All right, it's the energy I'm picking up on. Let's see what else we get. Spirit, please come through. What is the energy? All right. We got high priestess. 
All right, so you you knew something was off. All right, maybe just by how this person walked, talked, looked at you, how they act around you, how they spoke to you. Okay, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. It's not what you do, how you do it. You just knew something was off just by how this person moved on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, and n now you're like, instead of just sitting here soaking in these emotions, letting someone tear me down who doesn't really love me, okay, inside and out, all right? It's time to just move around. I'm going to use my intuition and I'm going to manifest the man or woman that I really want. Okay, no matter how long it take, how long it take to get over this shit. This is the energy I'm picking up on. The lovers, okay? Got the lovers. We got the empress. What did I say, y'all? I said you could be the empress looking for your emperor or the emperor looking for the empress. Okay? Straight like that. All right? You didn't have a tower moment. Okay? Sudden change. And now it's time for things to work out in your favor. Okay? Nothing but good. You've been in your head about this relationship for a long time. Probably for years. Okay? Is the energy I'm picking up on. Couldn't sleep having sleepless nights. Mentally entrapped. By the decisions that you've made, possibly in regret, insomnia, anxiety, depression. Okay, just thinking about like, damn, how did I get myself into this shit, bro? I can't believe that I allowed this man to do me like that. Like you're starting to realize your fucking word. Okay, manifest.